Thank you for your purchase of the Mi Audio Connect Hub. In this video, I'll help you set up the Connect Hub as a Bluetooth transmitter streaming audio from your TV to your Bluetooth headphones or speakers. The Connect Hub can also be used as a Bluetooth receiver if you would like to stream audio from your phone, tablet, or other Bluetooth device to a soundbar receiver or non-Bluetooth speaker. We'll cover that in the receiver mode video linked here and in the description. This video will cover three steps, powering up your Connect Hub, pairing your Bluetooth headphones, and determining which connection method is best to use with your TV. We'll start by plugging the USB power cable to a power source and into the power port of the Connect Hub. You can use a wall adapter, the USB port on your TV, or any other powered USB port. If you're using a USB port on your TV, just be aware that most TVs do not have power while turned off, so your Connect Hub may power off when you turn off your TV. You'll need to turn it back on in order to use it the next time you turn on your TV. To avoid this, you can use a USB power adapter similar to the ones that come with most cell phones and keep your Connect Hub on at all times. Once the Connect is plugged into power, go ahead and press the power button to turn it on. The Mi logo on the main display will illuminate. Since we're setting up the transmitter mode in this video, please make sure that the switch on the side is in the TX transmitter position. Now let's pair your Bluetooth headphones. First, we need to put your headphones into pairing mode. Usually this is done by pressing and holding the power button for five to 10 seconds until the light blinks red and blue, and the headphones indicate that they are ready to pair. The pairing process can vary depending on brand and model. If you can't figure out how to put your headphones into pairing mode, please consult its user manual or contact the manufacturer of the headphones. Once your headphones are in pairing mode, put the Connect Hub into pairing mode by pressing and holding the Bluetooth button until it says pairing. Pairing. And the light alternates between red and blue. The Connect Hub and Bluetooth headphones must be in pairing mode at the same time in order to pair. A solid blue headphone light and corresponding voice prompt will indicate that the pairing process is complete. Pairing complete. Device 1 connected, ready for use. If you need to pair a second headphone, simply repeat the same process starting with putting your second headphones into pairing mode. Two solid blue headphone lights will indicate that two headphones are paired with the Connect Hub. Next, we need to determine which audio cable to use with your TV. What we're looking for is the TV's audio output. There are three ways to hook up the Connect: optical, headphone jack, or RCA. You can consult your TV's user manual to see the available options or just look at the back of your TV. If you're not able to locate the audio output, please contact the manufacturer of your TV. If your TV has a jack labeled digital audio out optical, you can use the optical cable. Click the optical setup video linked here and in the description to continue setup using the optical cable. If your TV has a headphone jack, usually labeled headphones, phones, or with a headphone symbol, you can use the 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Click the headphone jack setup video linked here and in the description to continue setup using the 3.5 millimeter cable. If your TV has red and white RCA jacks labeled audio out, you can use the RCA cable. Note that these jacks must be labeled audio out or audio output. RCA jacks labeled AV in, component in, or just audio are audio inputs and will not work. Click the RCA setup video linked here and in the description to continue setup using the RCA cable. If available, we recommend using the optical connection which will give you the option to either keep your TV speakers on or mute them. Once you've selected the connection method you want to use, click one of the videos below so we can complete the setup process.